winter in Yellowstone. An enchanting time of ice crystals. The crunch of animal hooves in the snow. The roar of eruptions on a white canvas. And snow coaches. A ticket to exploring a snow white Yellowstone. Snow coaches come in many flavors. Wheels come off the large passenger vans, replaced by specially designed tracks or skis that provide traction. Snowmobile tours also share the roads. No private vehicles are allowed in the park. Visitors travel with guides. Most tours begin in the early morning, a chilly time in Yellowstone. Concessionaire employees assign your seats and introduce fellow travelers and the guide. Guides are generally experienced Yellowstone hands who savor the winter experience and delight in sharing their wealth of knowledge. Travel is leisurely. Top speed, about 20 miles an hour. but the going is generally slower. Stops for wildlife are common. Animals share the same roads and have the right of way. Bison are the most often seen. These lumbering animals survive even the coldest temperatures. Protected by thick skin and underfur, long guard hairs and layers of fat. These bison are special. Yellowstone is the only place in the United States where bison have lived continuously since prehistoric times. Not only must the animals endure extremes of cold and harsh winds, but also the absence of ready food. Deep tracks in the snow tell of the tenacious struggle through the long winter. Coyotes also turn up frequently, as these predators are on the prowl all winter. Foxes are rare, and wolves even more so. Park service warming huts at several locations around the park provide a chance for a warm drink and a talk with a naturalist. <laughs> With temperatures ranging from zero to minus 20 Fahrenheit, dressing warmly is essential. The record low is minus 66. Stopovers depend upon which entrance gate the tours enter, but include Roaring Mountain, which is dramatic in winter as steam condenses in the frigid atmosphere. Norris Geyser Basin, with its colorful features. Gibbon Falls. At Lower Geyser Basin, Clipsandra Geyser puts on an almost continuous show. As do the mud pies. The most popular winter destination is Old Faithful area. Day tours spend several hours here. Enough time to eat and explore the Old Faithful Visitor Center. Open year round, its educational displays tell the geologic and natural history of Yellowstone. Just outside the towering windows, Old Faithful. Yeah. 
Old Faithful's system of trails are groomed for easy access to many of the nearby features. The wait at Riverside Geysers is long and cold, but worth it. Overnight visitors to the Snow Lodge enjoy comfortable accommodations, hearty meals, and a refuge from the cold. Bombardiers depart for excursions from the Snow Lodge. Created in Canada for winter travel, these iconic vehicles with skis in the front first came to Yellowstone in 1955. They've operated in the park continuously since then. While they don't turn easily, they have a reputation for being the smoothest ride. Loaded with cross-country skis or snowshoes, they whisk visitors off for more adventurous explorations. Backcountry ski tours and snowshoe treks. For those with more time, snow coaches also follow a circuit to canyon area with spectacular views of upper and lower Yellowstone Falls. Accumulations of ice built up by freezing mist encase the base of the falls. Portions of the Yellowstone River that flow year-round are home to waterfowl, including the busy American Dipper and the elegant Trumpeter Swan. Wildlife must endure the most severe of Yellowstone's seasons. And its longest. It is a struggle. Not all survive. In any season, Yellowstone is remarkable. But for the snow coach visitor, winter is truly magical. 